There are people in your life that are spiritual parasites who wants to suck the light of God out of you. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want to talk to us about parasites, more specifically, spiritual parasites. You may have encountered them in, at some point in your life, or you're experiencing them at the moment, or at some point you may encounter spiritual parasites. Let's look at parasite in the natural, how they live and how they function. A parasite is an organism that lives on or in a host organism. It gets its food from or at the expense of its host. It depends on its host for survival. Without a host, the parasite cannot live, grow, or multiply. As there are multiple types of parasites, there are numerous parasitic people who prey on you. They exploit, manipulate, and abuse others to serve their own needs. Unfortunately, those high in empathy, kindness, and generosity often become targets. They become targets to parasites who manipulate others by attacking their mental and emotional sides to get what they want. The manipulating parasite seeks to create an imbalance of power and take advantage of the victim to gain power, control, benefits, and or privileges at the victim's expense. They will exhaust the limits of your generosity without as much as a thank you. Then there are those emotionally draining parasites. These people are surrounded by drama, constantly complaining or an emotional wreck. They are the ones who seem to suck the energy out of you and leave you feeling emotionally drained whenever you have a conversation with them. They complain about the same things over and over again, but refuse to make changes or take responsibility for their own actions. They don't even ask you how you're feeling. It's always just about them. Then there are the controlling parasites. These people obsessively try to control you and dictate you how you're supposed to be and feel. They have an opinion about every single thing you do. They'll control you by invalidating your emotions when they don't fit, fit into their rule book. They often start sentences with, you know what you need, and then they tell you what you need. You end up feeling dominated, demeaned, or put down. But Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. When the Bible speaks about the heart in this verse, it's not talking about the physical heart that beats. Instead, it refers to the mind, the will, the inner man. The mind and the will are the places where you make your life decisions. Every choice, everything you decide to do comes from a decision of your mind. As we, we need to guard our physical hearts, we need to protect our spiritual heart as well. As I always say, it is the foundation of who you are and it is where the battles are won or lost. If we do not guard our hearts, then you are exposed to bad influences thoughts or forces that comes your way. This can lead to a multitude of issues. But when you guard your heart, we are empowered to be doers of the word of God and not just hearers only. We are protected from being spiritually deceived. The state of our hearts determines the actions we take in our lives. This is why it is so important to guard our hearts. You must understand that evil preys on good. The enemy desires to devour you, so he will send all sorts of people your way to distract you and keep your heart from God, to dim your light. 
But how do you guard your heart? First, you must know, you must understand who you are and you should not depend on someone else to tell you who you are. Find your passion and pursue it, but have realistic expectations. You need friends that are safe and that will speak positivity into your life, but tell you the truth when you need to hear it. You need to set boundaries and don't be vulnerable to someone else's agenda. Learn how to forgive yourself and to forgive others. But most of all, invite the spirit of the living God into your life. Give him your heart, your mind. When you have parasites in the body, you visit the doctor to remedy the problem. When you are dealing with spiritual parasites, you need to turn to Jesus Christ for the answer. Because in him, there is joy and speakable. There is peace that passeth all understanding. There is grace that is sufficient, love and mercy that knows no bounds. I want, to rec I want you to recognize that in the midst of all that chaos, you can find God. He's waiting for you with his arms wide open, ready to receive you. His yoke is easy and his burdens are light. I'm Alice Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Manna.